Hi Space Cats, welcome back to my channel. This week I've been talking with Nathan Tabaz from Hudson Space Systems. They're delivering an affordable microgravity research platform. Did you know that there are many research areas where the microgravity of space is absolutely crucial? Neither did I. So in this week's video, I'll be talking about microgravity and medicine. So let's start. Now, maybe you're a bit lost with the term microgravity. You're probably more familiar with the term zero gravity. And yes, sometimes these terms are used interchangeably, but the latter can be a bit misleading. Zero gravity is the absence of gravity, where things are weightless. But the thing is, zero gravity doesn't exist. The gravity of Earth gets weaker and weaker the further away you move from it, but it never really completely disappears. Microgravity, on the other hand, is where the gravitational force experience is so small that you appear weightless. True microgravity cannot be simulated here on the ground on Earth, and that's why we need to go to space. The study and exploration of medical solutions in a microgravity environment is known as exomedicine, and despite what you might think, there's already a huge range of applications that it has been used for, including tissue regeneration, DNA regulation, stem cell research, and treatments for diseases such as cancer and other debilitating conditions. Studies have shown that crystals grown in space can yield much better results than those grown here on Earth. They contain fewer imperfections because they grow more slowly up there. In microgravity conditions, you don't have things hindering the crystal growth. You don't have convection currents that prevent crystals from growing. And you don't have sedimentation because everything is floating about. So you can create larger and more organized crystals. In exomedicine, crystals of organic materials such as proteins can lead to improvements to drug development and manufacturing. If you know the structure of what a protein looks like, then you can better design molecules to fit it into that design and turn it on or off. Mass production of such crystals in orbit already exists. Lambda Vision is a company developing a protein-based artificial retina to restore meaningful vision for the millions of people blinded by retinal degenerative diseases. In 2018, they launched a microgravity experiment and they found that whilst they failed to make high quality retinas here on Earth, they were able to do so from space. In 2015, NASA sent 15 live flatworms to the International Space Station, but they all had either their heads or tails chopped off. These creatures, which are known to regenerate limbs, were studied to see how they would react to microgravity, providing insight into how gravity affects tissue regeneration and the rebuilding of damaged organs and nerves. This is important for understanding how wounds heal in space. Whilst the size of these flatworms stayed the same, they observed loads of unusual results, like a double-headed flatworm that kept growing back the two heads even after multiple regenerations. Regenerative medicine can be used to treat spinal cord injuries, heart failure, insulin-dependent diabetes, and degenerative brain diseases such as Parkinson's disease, just to name a few, benefiting millions of people here on Earth. Researching bacteria and viruses in space is important for the future of space exploration. Since bacteria and viruses found here on Earth can survive in space and impact an astronaut's health. In space, it's easy to grow super resistant strains. So researching these microbes in a low gravity environment where they are more virulent gives researchers the unique opportunity to study antibiotic resistance and to develop therapeutic treatments like vaccines to eradicate them here on Earth. 
This means that space could also be a promising solution to understanding how to efficiently treat COVID-19 and to help control future virus outbreaks. There have already been several studies of the flu vaccine in space. Nevertheless, the precision needed for space experiments is extremely high and very challenging in microgravity conditions. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you've enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.